So, getting drunk. It's something a lot of us enjoy doing. It's fun getting together with a group of friends, having a few drinks, having a good time. But the fact of the matter is, some people can handle their drinking, and some people can't. When you're getting drunk, it's very important to know your limit. A good way you can tell that you don't know your limit is if you wake up passed out on a bathroom floor, especially if it's a public bathroom. Who's this creepy guy? He's got a look on his face like, I just drug these women. Another good sign that you don't know your limit is when you fall asleep groping one of your friends. If you fall asleep cuddling with a friend who has his hand down your pants, that's a good sign that you don't know your limit. I think this picture's funny because you know there's so many guys looking at this right now that are like, Oh, that's so gay. That's totally gay, man. But if it was two girls, they'd be like, So fucking hot. And one good thing to know about drinking is if you are one of the first people to pass out, then people are going to fuck with you. You are gonna get pranked. This is just common knowledge. One popular choice is drawing dicks on people. It seems to be the first thing people go to when you pass out drunk. They just want to draw a dick on you somewhere. This guy got it bad. There is just so much stuff about cocks on him. So much about dicks. Funny story about this picture is this woman who's smirking. She was a professional cheerleader and when she posted this picture to Facebook, she got fired from the New England Patriots. Being a bitch didn't pay off this time. This guy just got colored in completely. I imagine it started with dicks and then they're like, let's just color him completely. You know how long that's gonna take to wash off? <laughs> Holy shit. I'm Dave's gay lover. Oh, look at the little swastikas on his face. That's nice. Dick with an arrow pointing to his belly button. Oh, and then there's an I heart cock on his arm with another swastika. Please put cock here. That is just way too much to read. But again, there's a dick on there with peace sign balls. I'm disappointed in the unoriginality of people. You gotta be more original. At least these people got some hot dog buns and some marshmallows involved. See, that's what I'm talking about. They drew him a little tuxedo and put a cat face on him. I like the creativity of this one. They actually turned their friend into a pirate princess pickle bunny. Whatever the fuck that is, still there's a dick on him. But at least they tried a little harder. Another popular passing out prank is just duct taping people to things. This guy got duct taped into fetal position. Actually, that's just smart because you know if you roll over and puke straight up, you're, there's a chance you're gonna drown in your own puke and die. At least this way he's duct taped on his side and he will only be able to puke on his side. I think they were looking out for him. Just like this guy, they duct taped him on his side at least they know he's not gonna die. Now, I don't know how the fuck they duct taped this guy to a roof, but he, you'd have to be really fucking passed out to get duct taped to a ceiling. That's just a lot of skill. You had to hold him up there and duct tape him to it, and the whole time he's just passed out? That's actually very impressive. But if you're not feeling creative and you're feeling a little lazy, then there's always the good old tampon in the mouth or nose. And passing out in the comfort of your asshole friends is one thing, but some people, they get so drunk that they just fall asleep wherever the fuck they are. She almost made it home. She made it halfway in. I like the fact that there's a beer in her purse. Like, oh, I was gonna drink a little more. Like, she's not too drunk. She's like, no, nah, I, I got this one beer for later. Or maybe you just curl up on someone's lawn and use their lawn as a blanket. What the fuck? Holy shit. Again, a beer in his hand. That's just a prime example that you don't know your own limit is when you pass out with an open beer in your hand. Like, oh, I was gonna drink a little more. I was just gonna curl up underneath this guy's lawn and drink a little more. I bet the pizza seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> until he couldn't navigate it on top of a table. That piece of looks like shit. There's like three pepperonis on it. Where the fuck is all the pepperoni? Or you could just curl up on the curb outside and use a piece of pizza as a pillow. Drunk as fuck. And of course, there's always the chance that you're gonna fall asleep with your head in a toilet. You get too drunk, you start puking, and you fall asleep with your head in a toilet. But have you ever gotten so drunk that you fall asleep with your head in a urinal? That is fucking disgusting. Holy shit. I don't even like getting my dick near a urinal. I would never put my face in one. Or sometimes you'll pass out and not even realize that you missed the best night of your life. All because you drank just a little too much. This poor bastard. And we all know that puking and pissing is a big part of getting drunk. But I'm not about to show you guys a bunch of pictures of people puking and pissing themselves, because that is just disgusting. If you want to see pictures of drunk people pissing and puking, you can Google search it yourself and have fun navigating the minefield of pissing and puking fetish videos. And another thing about getting drunk is that certain things become nearly impossible to do. One of those main things is walking. When you get too drunk, it almost becomes virtually impossible to walk in a straight line or just get on your feet and walk from point A to point B. This drunk bastard almost made it up a hill. And then he did not. And then he did not.
And then he did not. And then he did not. And then he did not. And then he did not. And then he did not. And then he did it. And the crowd goes wild. This guy here went to a convenience store and tried to buy himself another case of beer when clearly he is way too drunk. Look at this guy. If you can't grab a case of beer and navigate it to the counter to buy it, then you need to stop drinking. You have drank too much. Drunk as fuck. Eventually, the people in the store asked him to leave, and he complied. He, well, he tried to. He got so close, and then, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, he almost made it to the door. Good thing he grabbed that bowl for support. Drunk as fuck. You could also get so drunk that you end up like this guy in a store, thinking that your reflection is just an asshole trying not to let you pass. This goes on for quite some time. Oh, uh, he just can't figure it out, and he's like the nicest guy ever. Because I would be pissed. I'd be like, get the fuck out of my way. He's just like, okay, 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 okay. Stop filming this poor bastard and fucking help him for fuck's sake. When you get drunk, there's also the chance you're going to sleep with someone. And it might seem like a good idea at the time. But then when you wake up the next morning, all you can think is, how the fuck do I get out of here? Which brings me to the walk of shame. Now you can spot a girl doing the walk of shame if you look for these few signs. Bare feet, a tight club dress, messy hair, high heels in their hands. Oh yes, and then there's the look on their face of regret and disappointment in themselves. Or maybe it's just a condom wrapper in their hair. Also, people like to get drunk and then start texting. You're the sweetest candy thing in all the universe. Sprinkles out of sugar on my tasters. Jason, are you drunk? Will you arrest me with force? No, sir. You're so polite. Well, thank you. So, how much have you had to drink? A baby and a half a dozen of babies? Lol, I just pissed on the cat while I'm wrong. I wasn't that drunk. I drove myself home. Dude, don't even try denying it. Question mark? I drove you home while you drove with a paper plate. Oh, I thought that was a dream. Idiot. Dude, I wasn't that drunk. You still Stuffed my cat into a pillowcase and ran around singing, It's a pillow, it's a pet, it's a pillow pet. Oh. And if you think all of these drunk bastards were bad, well then you're in for a treat, because I haven't even gotten to the really good stories yet. I'm talking drunk. I'm talking drunk as fuck. Here's a woman that went to a bar with her friends, and she got so drunk that she went out for a cigarette at 2.30 a.m., and that was the last time her friends saw her. They had no idea where she went. She was found at 5.30 in the morning with no phone, no money, and no idea when she started wandering around. She was blackout drunk. She was found outside a nursing home, passed out in negative 30 degree weather, and she got severe, severe frostbite on her fingers. The doctors say she is lucky to still have fingers. Look at this shit. That is some serious frostbite. She got so drunk, she almost lost her fingers. Look at that shit. That's fucking freaky. They say she got between third and fourth degree frostbite. And that is why you don't get so drunk that you black out. Because you might end up freezing yourself to death. And if you thought that story was bad, oh, that is nothing. This man here passed out drunk and woke up without a penis. That's right. He passed out drunk, woke up, and he had no dick. This 45-year-old says he has no clue where his penis went, but neighbors say they saw him being attacked by a dog. So pretty much a dog bit his dick off. Have you ever been so drunk that a dog bites your dick off? <laughs> well, this guy has. Now, if there's anything you can learn from this video, it's that you need to drink responsibly. You need to know your limit, or a dog might bite your dick off. So, thanks for watching this drunk people video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do enjoy this, then hit the like button down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know some feedback. Give me some feedback. If you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel. We are now at 1.1 million subscribers on our way to 2 million. Let's do it.